Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film this makeup tutorial and it's still going into like fall, we're going to fall. So I still have this um, dark lip, not necessarily too dark, but a dark ombre lip. And I wanted to use a brown shimmering color today. So I did that, which is really exciting. And I also want to talk about my hair with you guys. So this hair that I got is from Sexy Formula, which is on AliExpress, it's a bender on AliExpress. And I found this um, bender off of Malibu Dollface's um, channel. And he was talking about how it was um, inexpensive. So I think that's like the major reason why I kind of got it. And um, I got the same hair that he got, I think, the straight Peruvian. Anyways, that's what I have. I got it cut into this all even bob and I think my favorite thing about the hair is that it's really soft. I think the only thing that's throwing me off about this hair is that it smells like hair like bought in a beauty supply. So like I'm like, mm, I don't know. But I think the only thing like there is if it did smell like that, like the problem would be like if I tried to bleach it, like it would be a disaster, it'd probably catch on fire, or it would melt or whatever people say. Like that's what would happen, I felt like. But I can't really say much. So if you guys just want to buy the hair and keep it this color, I think it will look great. Um, I also want to say that I've had these curls in for three hours. And I didn't curl, like, curl, curl my hair. I just, like, took my wand and, like, held it for two seconds and then I let it go. So, like, these are, like, holding up great. So that's exciting. And it matches my hair very well. I don't have this much leave out. Um, so I think that's really exciting. So, yeah, if you guys want to check out this, um, hair that I got I'll leave the link below and the hair came literally I ordered it on Friday and she was telling me how they were having a Chinese holiday and so I thought my hair was still like not gonna come but it only came like a day later than I thought it was gonna come so I ordered on Friday I thought I was gonna get it on Tuesday then said I got it on Wednesday so that's Friday Saturday Sunday Monday okay, Saturday Monday Tuesday Wednesday yeah four days Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Five days, which isn't that bad. But everybody else says that they get their hair in four days, which is like even better. So I thought that was really cool and she communicates very well. And yeah, I'm really satisfied. But anyways, back to this tutorial. If you guys like it, like it. If you guys want to comment, comment. If you guys want to subscribe, then subscribe. First, I'm taking the color brown script and I'm using that as my transition color. I'm applying Embark on top of brown script and using that to create depth along with making my crease a little bit darker. Here I'm taking the color Carbon by MAC and I'm using that in the corner of my eye to make it darker and have more of a smoky eye look. I'm using the shimmery brown that I got from an Avon palette for my lid. Now I'm just packing it on my eyelid with a packing brush. I'm just going to go back over with Embark to get rid of any harsh lines. So on the inner part of my eye I'm mixing two colors. It's like a gold and a light gold and I'm just putting that in the inner part of my eye. Now I'm just cleaning everything up with concealer. So here I'm going to take my Photo Loving Primer by NYX and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Today I'm going to use MAC Studio Sculpt in NW43 and I'm just going to use a round buffing brush to apply that all over my face. And I'm using MAC Mineralizer Concealer to cover up the dark spots on my face after I've applied my foundation. And what I like to do is use my finger to kind of blend it out. And I just keep applying the concealer until I'm satisfied with how much is covered. I'm not necessarily trying to cover it all because I still want to look a little bit natural so you guys can see a little bit of my blemishes. 
So now I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso and I'm going to use that to contour my face. So clearly when I was doing my contour, my niece was in there with me and she was like trying to contour her face at the same time. So like we were having a fight while I was trying to do this video. Here I'm just going to blend everything out with this beauty blender that I got from Sephora and I like to use the bottom of it because it's round and it kind of gets into those like creases. To highlight I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. So I like to set my highlight with Sephora Bright Set and I use my beauty blender to apply it. Usually I let my um, translucent powder sit on my face for 5 to 10 minutes but today I decided to blend it in with my skin to create more of a natural look. So I like to set my contour with MAC Blush in Blunt and like I always say I use this to set my contour because I be balling on a budget so this is like the best route I could take and it's really like it looks nice though so hey blush always works too So I did apply my eyelashes off camera, but I did use Vegas May Shining Star Lashes by Eyelore. So I love using this bronzer by e.l.f. in Warm Tan because it just gives me that highlight for, you know, a dollar. And it works great, like my highlight be popping. As always, I'm out of camera for my lip, so I will post a tutorial on how I got this lip. Then I'm just going to set everything with NYX Dewy Finish Spray. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.